Thank you. Thank you for coming. Uh, Chief Rhonda Williams Lovett from Moose Deer Point First Nation. Thank you, Chief. Chief Philip Franks from Water Mohawks First Nation. Thank you, Chief. And Ms. Amy Back, District Clerk. Thank you, Ms. Back. Not only do I call this place home, but I'm honored to serve as the CAO for the Township of Golden Bay. There's so much beauty to be offered in our community as we're tasked with good governance and protecting our environment. Today represents a new beginning as each member of our council elect takes their oath of office. As they serve our community and represent the people who call this place their home to. To make decisions that are for the betterment of the township and do so with integrity and honor. I'm excited to be working with you as we embark together on this new term. Thank you. Now I'd like to call on Mayor Kusir to read our land acknowledgement statement. There we go. I haven't used one of these things in a long time. It's, 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 this is a strange experience. <laughs> but the light is burning. <laughs> in the spirit of reconciliation, we wish to acknowledge the enduring relationship that we put between the indigenous peoples and the lands that they have traditionally occupied. We recognize and deeply appreciate the historic connection they have to this place. We are grateful for the opportunity to meet here and we thank all the generations of indigenous peoples who have taken care of this place and who continue to care for it. And we wanna show our respect. Hundreds of years after the first treaties were signed, they remain relevant today. May they guide our actions and our decisions. We commit to learn to educate, sorry, we commit to learn to educate, to honor sacred places, to take action for real truth and reconciliation. Now, I would like to welcome Councillor Alan Hazelton. Um, he will be visible on the screen if we just wait one moment for some technical support in the background. Maybe I will check on that technical Welcome, Councillor Hazelton. If you would like to read your declaration of oath of office. Thank you. Just confirming you can hear me? I'm not hearing you. Okay. So um, my declaration of oath is I, Alan Hazelton, having been elected or appointed to the office of Councillor for Ward 4 in the municipality of the Township of Georgian Bay, do solemnly promise and declare that, number one, I will truly faithfully and impartially exercise this office to the best of my ability and knowledge. Number two, I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for any of the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or improper manner. Number three, I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. And number four, I will 
be faithful and bear true allegiance to his majesty, King Charles III. I make this solemn promise and declaration conscientiously believing it to be true and knowing that it is of the same force and effect as if made under oath. Did you hear me or? Karen? Can you try speaking again, Councillor Hazelton? You didn't get that at all? No, we still can't hear him. Can you hear me now? We're in the process of installing a new AV system and it's halfway there. <laughs> Testing, one, two. Can you hear me now? Testing. Does that one? Testing. Testing. Yes, we do need a child of our own, absolutely. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Karen? Hello? Hello? Testing, one, two, three. Okay. We're going to move on for now. Let that sound. Um, next, I would like to call up Christian Graziano. Hi, Christian Graziano, having been elected to the office of the counselor for Ward 3 in the municipality of the township of Georgian Bay, do solemnly promise and declare that I will truthfully and faithfully and impartially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a bias, corrupt, or improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interests, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to His Majesty King Charles III. I make the solemn promise and declaration consciously, believing it to be true, and knowing that is the same force and effect as if made under oath. Thank you. Next, I'd like to call up Stephen Jarvis. I, Stephen Jarvis, having been elected or appointed to the Office of, office of Counselor of Ward 2 in the Municipality of the Township of Georgian Bay, do promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or any improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to His Majesty King Charles III. I make the solemn promise a declaration conscientiously, believing it to be true and knowing that it is of the same force and effect as if made under oath. Next, I'd like to call up Stephen Predko. Uh, 
I, Stephen Predko, having been elected to the office of Councillor for Ward 1 in the municipality of the Township of Georgian Bay, do solemnly promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially exercise this office to the best in, of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or any improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to His Majesty King Charles III. I make this solemn promise and declaration conscientiously, believing it to be true and knowing that it has the same force and effect as if made under oath. Next, I'd like to call up Peter Cooper. Good afternoon. I, Peter Cooper, have been elected to the Office of District Councillor for Wards 2 and 4 in the municipality of the Township of Georgian Bay to solemnly promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or any improper manner. I will disclose of any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to His Majesty King Charles III. I make the solemn promise and declaration conscientiously, believing it to be true and knowing that it is the is of the same force and effect as if made under oath. Thank you. Next, I'd like to call up Brian Bochek. Thank you. Made the printing bigger for me. <laughs> Thank you. I, Brian Bocek, have been appointed to the Office of District Councillor for Wards 1 and 3 in the Municipality of the Township of Georgian Bay and do solemnly promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and partially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment, reward, promise uh, there, thereof, and exercise this office without bias, corrupt, or improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act, and I will faithfully bear true allegiance to His Majesty King Charles III. I make this solemn promise and declaration, consciously believing to be true, and knowing that it is the same force and effect as made under oath. Thank you. Um, before I call up Peter Kuzier, I'm hoping, <laughs> I swear this worked on Friday when we tested it. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I have a blank screen so far. Testing one, two, three. Karen, can you hear me? I can hear you. Perfect. Awesome. I'll get to do this again. Actually, all those who can read lips probably know exactly what I said the first time. Anyways, 
Uh, declaration of office. I, Alan Hazelton, having been elected or appointed to the office of councillor for if, word four in the municipality of the township of Georgian Bay, do solemn, solemnly promise and declare that, number one, I will truthfully, faithfully, and impartially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. Number two, I have not received and will not receive any payment or, or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to His Majesty King Charles III. And I make this solemn promise and declaration conscientiously believing it to be true and knowing that it is of the same force and effect as if made under oath. Now, Karen, when you sent us the note, if you can still hear me, can you? Yes. Yes, so I can still hear you. When you sent us the note, you said we each had 10 minutes to address the crowd on things that we wanted to say. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it didn't say 10 minutes. Oh, but... <laughs> yeah. well, I, I just wanted to offer up that uh, I'm very pleased that uh, my fellow councillors, mayor and staff have uh, given me the opportunity to test out this uh, hybrid uh, uh, meeting technology and uh, come and meet with you from afar. And uh, it's wonderful to see that the technology has worked second time around. So thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. No, he's not. <laughs> thank you, Councillor Hazelton. Um, I would like to call up Mayor Peter Coots here, please. Hi, Peter Coots here, having been elected to the office of mayor in the municipality of the township of Georgian Bay, who solemnly promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or any improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I'll be faithful and bear true allegiance to His Majesty King Charles III. I make this solemn promise and declaration conscientiously, believing it is to be true and knowing that it is of the same force and effect as if made under oath. Thank you. You like to stay here, would you? What, take over the meeting? Okay, you still want to be in charge. Okay. Um, if you offer Consul Hazelton 10 minutes, maybe I can take 30 minutes and, shr and shrink it down just like he did. Okay. Um, first of all, I want to thank my fellow councillors. And well, Councillor Hazelton now looks like a crest of Georgian Bay again, but. Uh, for the opportunity that we have going forward. Uh, thank you very much. I want to make special mention to uh, Cynthia Douglas and Paul Wienko. They were are the two councillors who have retired. They chose not to run in this election. And uh, I've found their input invaluable the past term. And in, in a case, I mean, I think Cynthia did eight years and Paul 14 or something, something like that. And I apologize, Paul, if I got the number wrong, but certainly more than eight, anyone else on council. And we greatly appreciated your historical perspective. And so my, my hat is off to both Cynthia and Paul and a great appreciation for their, their contribution to council in the past. Um, I'm looking forward to working with the, this council. Now, some are quite familiar players, but we have two brand new ones. And I think that it is, um, I, I think we have a, a, a good team to work with. Um, but I will admit to a little bit of concern at council. Um, we're all male, we're all pale, and <laughs> relatively speaking, and the, the other thing too, which some would argue perhaps against, but some would suggest we're somewhat stale. <laughs> I mean, I know there's a youngster among us who's, you know, maybe halfway through his life, but, and I, I, I mentioned that because I think we as a council have to try very hard, harder than 
you would normally expect to be inclusive, to be fair, to be aware of the fact that most of our residents are not like us. And so we have to take that into account. And that's my um, caution that I, I want to share with all of you. I think that's extremely important that we take that into account as we go forward. Um, I don't want to go through all the challenges that we're going to face because frankly, some of them we have no idea. When we did this four years ago, those of us who did it four years ago, we didn't even hadn't even heard of COVID. And boy, did that affect the past term. So, but I think that you know we have a very strong staff. And I want to thank our staff. And I'm going to start with the clerk's department, Ms. Way, and, and your colleagues, uh, but also the rest of staff for not only putting on this event, uh, but also I am impressed, very impressed by the quality of our staff. They are excellent people. The only problem we have, and it's not unique to us, is we don't have enough of them. And that I hope we can somehow address in the coming term. No, no pressure, CAO Mariotti, but um, you know, especially in the planning department. But I, I think that uh, we're very, we're blessed with our staff, and I want to make sure I, I thank them uh, while I took my few minutes here uh, up here. Um, but with that, I'm just going to say thank you very much to all of you for attending. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. Um, uh, and if I may, special thank you to our chiefs. And let's move forward. Should I hand it back to you? Okay. Oh, I can't go anywhere. <laughs> All right. I would like to call up um, Chief Van Dam and Mr. Len Bay to the front, please. Font size is great. <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of the Canadian Red Cross, I would like to thank you for joining us today to recognize Bill for staying calm, thinking quickly, and using his first aid skills and CPR skills. He was able to save a young child's life on August 23rd, 2022. Bill was working at Stewart Lake Park in Mactier when he heard a woman screaming for help. Bill jumped into action, running to where the woman and the child were at the beach. A primary assessment established that the child was not breathing. EMS was called and Bill laid the child down, opened the airway and started CPR. By the time the fire department arrived a few minutes later, the child was breathing and crying. Had it not been for Bill's quick thinking and the first aid and CPR training, the child might not be here today. Bill took Red Cross and CPR training as an employee through the Township of Georgian Bay. Through his actions, Bill has demonstrated the importance of learning CPR anywhere at any time. There could be someone who needs help or you can be their hero just as Bill was for this young child and family. More than 600,000 Canadians received the Canadian Red Cross first aid and CPR and AED training each year. Through we hope, though we hope that no one will ever be in a position where they need to use this training, knowing what to do in those critical moments can truly make the difference. The Canadian Red Cross is calling on all Canadians to ensure that they have the proper first aid skills and confidence needed to save lives in an emergency situation. Because of Bill's life-saving actions, we are presenting Bill with the Canadian Red Cross Rescue Award. The Canadian Red Cross Rescue Award is presented to those non-professional or off-duty first responders who have volunteered to save a life prevent further injury, or provided comfort to the injured. Bill, we are very pleased to present this award to you on behalf of the Red Cross. Congratulations.
Mr. Mayor. Just on a side note, having a conversation with Bill, we talked about, uh, I've known Bill prior to employment here at the township, and Bill made the comment to me of all the years going through work when he worked in Hope region of doing CPR and first aid, and he said it came back to him in this situation, just like that. And so it's worth it to take that first aid course, that CPR course, learn how to use an AED, because we have a young child with us today because of those actions. So that's kind of a hard act to follow. Um, <laughs> But I'm going to call on the mayor just to finish up uh, some of our more formal business of the meeting with a couple of resolutions. I'm so, I was on mute. Oh dear. <laughs> I have moved by Councillor Brian Bocek, seconded by Councillor Stephen Jarvis. Be it resolved, the council adopts bylaw 2022-092 to confirm the proceedings of the November 21st, 2022 inaugural council meeting. All those in favor? That is carried. Well, yes. And I have moved by Councillor Peter Cooper, seconded by Councillor Al Lynn Hazelton. Is he still with us? Okay. Be it resolved, the council does now adjourn at. He took the clock away. Yeah. For those who don't realize, this room is in the process of being redecorated. The walls aren't usually this bare. Okay. Be it resolved, the council is now adjourn at 1 35 p.m. until December 12th, 2022, at 9 a.m for the call of the chair. All those in favor? And that is carried. We are now adjourned. Back to Ms. Way, our clerk. Thank you. Um, so again, I'd like to thank everyone for coming today. Please join us for some light refreshments. Um, if you would remain seated until the procession um, followed by Mr. Cooper and the rest of council uh, leaves, that would be fantastic. Thank you.